If you ever wondered about hand painting highlights, look no further because this is my client Valencia and I do her hand painted highlights every seven weeks. This is what she comes in with every seven weeks, about an inch of root. And this is what she leaves with. It's a little bit more blended, a little softer. It's got a tonal refresh and I'm gonna show you how I do it right now. We're gonna start by breaking the rules. We are going to mix two kinds of lightener together. Today we are mixing the Schwarzkopf Agora Powder Bleach with the Clay Bleach by Schwarzkopf, the Clay Blonde Me. I like these mixed together because I like the lift of the Agora and I like the consistency of the clay. I usually mix about equal parts with some 20 volume. And here I'm mixing it around to see what my consistency is because the consistency is what matters. This is too liquidy, it's like yogurt. I don't want yogurt, I want more toothpaste-y, not quite toothpaste. So I add a little bit more of the clay to dry out my texture a little bit more so I can paint with it and have a thicker, more viscous bleach on the hair. I'm gonna be using this teeny tiny little dinky brush. This is from Framar, it's my favorite, it's well used and I only use this brush. It's so easy, it's so fast. So again, as you've seen the before, this is what my client comes in with. It's very easy to maintain, it's very blended to her grays and every few appointments we do add in some low lights. Today we're just doing the highlights and I'm gonna show you how I do that. We're just doing half head. Her half head takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to apply and it's a very simple method. However, hair texture matters. If you look at Valencia's hair, she's got a coarser, thicker hair that tends to stand up and out from the root. It's not this fine hair that tends to sit flat on itself and that's the hair that you need is something that's a little bit coarser and thicker. Also, something that's got quite a bit of gray in it. She has a pretty high percentage of gray and her natural color is on the lighter side. So this is a very easy client to do this for because we're going for something that's low contrast and low maintenance. And uh, she does do the high maintenance thing by coming in every month and a half, but she likes a low maintenance look. So this blends very, very well with her natural color because we're not doing really, really warm colors. We're not doing super ashy colors because we don't want her to look gray. We just want something to blend the gray. I basically take quarter to half inch sections and I use as tight of a tension as I can without pulling her head all over the way to the side. And then I use this little tiny brush to paint up on the little bit of root that's needed for any of her previous highlights. Now, because she has a level seven low light and a level nine highlight, it's not a lot of contrast as I said before, but it gives this really, really beautiful soft effect. And even though these look like they're gonna be really, really harsh highlights, you guys have seen the after, It's quite soft and subtle. And it's one of my favorite services to do. Valencia always likes something to be done very, very fast. And she used to be getting highlights done the standard way that I do them over here is with a foil. And she's like, I don't wanna sit here for that long. I do wanna come here and get my touch up regularly, but I just don't wanna sit. So I know it's a little bit of a trust the process thing. I just learned how to do this. She uh, actually used to live in Paris for a few years and she had a stylist do this to her over there and she absolutely loved it. She's like, Katie, I want you to learn how to do this and I'm willing to be your guinea pigs. So I said, okay, I'm happy to do it if you're okay with me figuring it out on you. So we did it that first time and I'm like, I'm never looking back. I absolutely love it. But it is for a specific hair texture and hair type. You follow old previous highlights after your first session of making any highlights. And then after that, it's a, it's a pretty low maintenance thing. The little brush makes it easy for me to get any areas around the face. And uh, any pieces that you want to be especially blonde, you lift up and you paint underneath as well. Any lower maintenance areas, you wanna just paint on top of your half inch section. Whenever you're hand painting onto hair, you wanna make sure that your tension is nice and tight. That's why you don't wanna have a bobblehead client. You wanna have them hold their head straight up so that you can use strict tension on their hair because you are painting on top. The more tension you have, the more control you have of how saturated you get. If the hair is really bending underneath of the weight of your brush, you're not really able to saturate through. You're more so putting everything on top. So I have a good amount of tension here. When you look at the consistency of how I'm painting, I'm basically like 
laying each piece on top of the previous piece and I'm not flattening anything down and uh, that's very important so you don't smudge the bleach you want to give it enough room and uh, not really smother it and another thing to keep in mind is that because of my consistency I'm able to paint on and because it has the clay mixture in it it creates almost this cast onto the hair as it starts drying and I'm going to show you how the hair processes and when to know when it's done because anybody who hasn't worked with a clay bleach before, clay bleach doesn't really like to lift a lot of levels. So that's why I like to mix it with a powder bleach because a powder bleach is not great to just hand paint on highlights. It's, it's, it's too wet and it can smudge and make a mess versus a clay bleach stays almost like self-contained it, it creates this little like shell around itself it's such a weird thing if you haven't worked with it before but that's why i like mixing the two because i get the lift from one and i get the consistency from the other and it's a marvelous combination for this hair type the lower maintenance you want to go the skinnier and more spread out you want your highlights to be so i'm doing pretty chunky highlights and they because i still want them to be quite noticeable which means the more noticeable they are the higher maintenance you need to maintain with them but they're also pretty spread out so that she doesn't have to come in every four weeks and uh, her low lights that you're seeing there they get done every couple of appointments and last time i did try to do something a little more fun because she asked for me to put some low lights on top which i normally wouldn't because of this issue of seeing them grow out i never like seeing a low light grow out so i tried it last time and it was cute at the time being but knowing how it grows out it's just more obvious and i don't like it so i won't be doing her low lights on the top i'll just be maintaining them to the underneath side of her head in the future when I maintain them. This is that back whirl section I had mentioned earlier. I'm just kind of grabbing pieces that tend to open up and I'm doing them more spread out than I even do the top because I don't want it to look like one giant chunk of solid blonde. I still want to be able to see that there are highlights in there. And now I'm going to do the other side and you don't need to see that because you just saw the first side. This is what the highlights look like when they're freshly applied. They haven't processed yet. Everything's still a little bit blue looking with an orange undertone. And when you touch it, it's very wet to the touch. And this is what it looks like when it's done. So the blue has neutralized that yellow tone underneath there. So it looks a little bit more white. If you touch it, it's a little bit on that drier side. And if you scrape it away with a brush, it will be easy to scrape away. The toner formula today was a 9.5-4, which is a beige, and a 9-1, which is an ash. Then we washed her out, blow dried her, and styled her. So this is the end result. It's super, super soft. I'm trying to show up as close as I can so you guys can see the dimension, but this is what it looks like from afar. It's a super cute look. It's in between that kind of gray and beige kind of color. Super low maintenance. It's very soft, as I've said a billion times already. What do you guys think of this method? Are you going to try it out on any of your clients? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for joining me again, guys. Have a lovely evening.